What's up YouTube? My name is Zero Zeus and welcome back to another Baruto video. So this is going to be my Baruto episode 133 review. Please like, subscribe, share, and comment. Thank you for watching and let's get right into the video. Um, first off, there's a lot to be said about this episode. Um, it doesn't really give... <sighs> okay. As far as fans go, the ones that are like, well, Sarada, Sakura is going to figure out all about Sarada and Sasuke. I'm so sorry that didn't happen. <laughs> because that was definitely what everybody thought. Like, Sasuke left a picture. And it, it just so happened that it was like a wet day, I guess. Or it fell in a, a rain puddle or, or something. It was a, It had to be a reason why Oh, the, the ink was washing away. I don't understand that. That was like convenient. <laughs> strangely convenient but that's okay <clears throat> so Sarada actually Sakura I mean actually approaches Baruto which is really funny because first of all I don't know why she would come to Baruto before she would come to Sa Sasuke that's, that, that's just convenient too like I don't understand why she would do that but first of all she goes after him basically asking him, does he know <laughs> Sasuke? And it's so funny because he knows everything. He knows Hinata. He knows, you know, he knows Neji. He knows Naruto. He knows, he knows basically everybody. And it's hilarious because he has to somehow, some type of way, keep it away from him that I'm, I'm from where you're from. <laughs> I'm not from this village right here, but I'm from the same village in the future. And, it's just hard. I, you you could tell just coming out and saying that he can't do that. And even though Bruto's childish and reckless and he doesn't seem to make as big of mistakes as Sasuke has. Now, don't get me wrong. Bruto's definitely come out and he said mom and he said dad and Uncle Neji and he's talking about these things outright, but he's Still hasn't messed up as bad as Sasuke, but at least it was only a, f a letter. And at the same time, the letter had a couple of names on it. And there you go. <laughs> but even though it didn't have Baruto's full name, but almost. And Sarada, the only name that she can actually make out of it is Sasuke and Sarada. And at this point in her life, she doesn't know who Sarada is. So... She's kind of good on that. And it's kind of confusing, too, because does that mean that she named her Sarada because she's seen that letter? Or did, did that have any implication? I don't know. <laughs> it just made me think about that real fast. But um, next thing I want to talk about since it's on the screen, Jiraiya. Um, okay, he's not as... He is not what I put him as. <laughs> I was definitely playing him up, up as this great detective. And he is. Don't get me wrong because the suspicion is right. But at the same time, it's only a, su 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 a suspicion. It's only a suggestion. It's not concrete proof. And until he has that. Yeah, until he has that. Uh, that that's the best I can say. Um, <clears throat> I did try to give him some, some brownie points. And you know, play him up as, oh, well, Jirai, he's he's this great guy, and he is, but at the same time, he's still in the dark, just like everybody else is, even though it seems like he knows something, it seems like he knows something, but you'll never know, not unless he outright comes out and say it, <laughs> like, I know who, you're Sasuke Uchiha, and this is Naruto's son, which is be, it'd be no way possible for him to do that, I, I don't understand, maybe Sasuke, that's the thing, but Baruto, the only thing, your name sounds similar, and you look exactly alike, but that still doesn't mean that's not concrete proof, <laughs> so either way, Jiraiya, he isn't actually sure who Sasuke is, even though he's right on the nose with it, but he just doesn't know who he is, so I say that to say this, that maybe he might find out who he is in the future. Maybe he knows exactly who he is right now. But I can't spend the whole video talking about this. So we can move forward. Um, so Baruto and Naruto are actually in the woods. And they're training. And it's funny because they implement, they implement uh, the leaf on the palm of their hand. 
And I, I don't know if, I can't remember if it was a dot or what, but either way, that's how Sasuke, that, that's, I mean, that's how Naruto learned the Rasengan, right? Um, either way, it's cool that they called back to that. And they got Baruto doing it. And you actually see them glow up for a second, <laughs> which is so crazy because we haven't got any action in these last few in these last few episodes. We've got action. Let, let me rephrase that because <laughs> we've definitely got a lot of action. Um, Yurashigi actually shows up, which he shows up every episode. Thank, thank you for making this actually hype. <laughs> like, like, thank you for making there be stakes. Um, first of all, they're training. And basically, Sasuke's having this moment with um, Jiraiya, and they're uh, Boruto and Naruto are training, and we think that they're halfway on it. We see the rubber ball swelling and stuff like that. We just know for a fact that they come, they've come so far with the jutsu, and still they haven't gotten anywhere. Um, basically, the ball not. <laughs> It, they they figure out that it's possible. They don't do it. They, they they don't complete the jutsu, which I'm pretty sure is gonna be some half cock moment where they out there and they have to do it or they're gonna die. One, it, it's something like that. Something like that. Some something along the lines. So um yeah, and <laughs> just because this picture is on the screen, let me just say I thought it was so funny that Baruto was complaining about the uh, about the ramen. <laughs> like every day every meal <laughs> it was just really funny how <laughs> it is like you're making him eat this every day <laughs> and he just cannot stand ramen but naruto loves it for a sad reason but he loves it and i just thought that was funny um you have this moment i like how i don't know if anybody was paying attention to the manga or I mean, the anime that I was paying attention to, but I don't remember <sighs> Shigede actually being that tight with Naruto at all at that age. I'm just saying, maybe they had a couple of life or death moments, but that doesn't make them friends, even though it should. You know, a regular person, oh, I love you to death, because we almost died together, but it didn't seem to be the case for them. Maybe I just looked at it a different way yeah, or something, but... um yeah um so we actually have a moment where they're eating barbecue and naruto is so mad because <laughs> just because he's not eating the barbecue and ramen and it's it just really funny they call back and have these little moments just naruto and Baruto. this is the perfect arc right um how much time do i got left okay um basically you have Yurashiki, uh, I already mentioned that he showed up in the being at like the beginning of the episode, the beginning of the review. But what I don't tell you is like how he switches between the Renegons, right? He has the red one, he has the purple one, and it's it's crazy because Jiraiya he actually has this moment where he's like, Well, I met I'm I met a lot of guys with a lot of powerful jutsu, right? And None of them said that they could change, they could see the future. I don't really know. <laughs> and it's it's crazy because the guy that kills him in the future is one of these people who can basically see his future. <laughs> he, I, I don't know, uh, can he? I don't know. I'm, I'm just going to step back off that for a second. But either way, it's crazy that he's seen the Renegon now and he dies by the Renegon in the future. That's pretty much the sum of what I'm trying to say. Um, you actually have this moment where he uses, I think it's blue. I think it's blue. Or it might just look blue and then it's purple. Either way, he uses this. He teleports behind Jiraiya and he basically impales him, which is which is crazy. You don't expect none of the grown people because they're so nice, right? It's, it's nice to see that they're still in danger too. <laughs> which they should. They should uh, apparently... Compared to Yuri Shiki, they should. <laughs> that's that's all I'm gonna say about that. But um, yeah, man. Um, Jiraiya gets basically impaled, and it, you have this moment where I just one last thing I want to mention. Baruto 
is actually holding his father back, which is really cool because Naruto always goes runs head and like straight up. <laughs> he just runs in blind, it doesn't pay any attention. Like Errol says, you gotta case every inch of, you know, the area. And I like that. I like how Baruto stops him. Like, don't go in making the same mistakes that you made last time. Pay attention to what's going on. And you might just walk out of this with your head on your shoulders. And that's cool. Like, I think that's cool. Um, And I think that's about it. If I'm not mistaken. Um, They have this long conversation where soccer, Sasuke actually talks about his chakra. But I... Yeah, I'm not going to talk about it. Um, But anyway... This is the end of the re- review right here. Um, this is my Baruso episode 133 review. Please like, subscribe, share, and comment. Thank you for watching. And let's, I will see you all next video. <laughs>